الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة يونس عليه الصلاة والسلام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما كان هذا القرآن أن يفترى من دون الله ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل الكتاب لا ريب فيه من رب العالمين أم يقولون افتراه قل فأتوا بسورة مثله وادعوا من, من استطعتم من دون الله إن كنتم صادقين بل كذبوا بما لم يحيطوا بعلمه ولما يأتهم تأويله كذلك كذب الذين من قبلهم فانظر كيف كان عاقبة الظالمين ومنهم من يؤمن به ومنهم من لا يؤمن به وربك عالم بالمفسدين صدق الله العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقنة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وأعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ربنا آنس وحشتنا في قبورنا وارحمنا بالقرآن العظيم اللهم اجعله لنا إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم ذكرنا منهما نسينا وعلمنا منهما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آنا الليل وآنا النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين آمين Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh You must have noted that although we had completed our study of Surah Al Yunus up till Ayah 38, but we are beginning today again from Ayah 37, because you know the subject which was under discussion, the sequence and continuation requires it. Wa ma kana hadha al Quran wa yuftara min dun Allah, and this Quran is not such a thing which could be composed. By anyone else but Allah. Well, I can just see the Nadi Bena Yade. Now there are three dimensions of the Quran: its literary beauty, that was a miracle for the Arabs. They could appreciate it was their own language. So actually, this aspect of Quran being a miracle was most apparent. To the Arabs, so this is for them. Number two, walakin tasdeeq al nazi bana yadeh. Second dimension, it confirms that which is present before it, before it. That is Torah, Injil. Although Muhammad never studied them, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was an unlettered person. He didn't know what is Torah, what is Injil. ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا. We shall study this ayah in Surah Al-Shura. So that aspect was a miracle for the people of the book. But tafsir al-kitab al-arab fi. And third dimension is that it is the details of the law, and this is for all of humanity for all time to come. لا رأيب فيه. And there is no doubt about it. Bil Rabbil Alamin that it is from the Lord of all the worlds. Now, because here in the Bakki Surahs the main address is to the pagan Arabs, the unlettered one, the Ummiyin, as now they are asked and challenged regarding that aspect of Quran which relates to them, and that is the beauty of Quran, the literary beauty. Am Yaqulu Naftara? Are they saying that he has? That is Muhammad heads, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, composed it, forged it. Ulfatu bi surat imislihi. 
So put a challenge to him, to them. You bring forth one surah like this. Wadrumani statatum min nunillah. Call for your help, whomsoever you can. In kuntum swadiqeen. If you are really in doubt, this is a piercing question, searching question, telling them that you don't have any doubt. That this book cannot be composed by any human being. At least this aspect of this book was absolutely clear. But regarding the teachings of the book, there could be two types of persons. There were the persons who felt that whatever this book is saying is correct. Their souls had testified to the truthfulness of this book. But because of their obstinacy, because of their haughtiness, because of their positions, because of their arrogance, they were denying it and belying it, knowingly. But there were others also, because all were not of such a level of consciousness, of understanding. There were others who actually couldn't comprehend what Quran is saying. They, they were finding it difficult for them to understand what Quran is saying. They needed some time. So those people are referred here. Bal kazzabu bima lam yuhitu bi ilmihi wal ma yatihim ta'adilu. But they have denied this Quran. All because, you know, they could not comprehend what it is saying. Lam yahuti, lam yuhitu bi ilmihi. They couldn't comprehend, you know, the knowledge that it contained. Wal ma yatihim ta'adilu. And its interpretation has not up till now come. This has been translated or interpreted in two ways. Taviluhu, meaning thereby the punishment which the Prophet ﷺ was threatening, that if you don't believe in me, you'll be punished. That punishment has not up till come. Secondly is that because you know from the very beginning, the ayat which were revealed, they were very profound. And you know, it was not easy for all of the people to understand them fully. Later on, they were explained. And then it became easy to understand by a common man also. That we shall find, you know, in the beginning of the next surah, that is Surah Hud, alayhi salatu was salam. Alif Lamra, kitabun uhkibat ayatuhu, summa fussilat min ladun hakim in khabir. This is special style of this book. You know, the surahs, which were revealed in the beginning are very small, but very profound in meaning, very strong, saturated, you may say, of wisdom. But then, you know, slowly and gradually, these things were explained. So, mafussalat milladul hakim in khabir. So, actually, common people could have found it a difficulty to understand what Quran was saying in the beginning. In the same way, those who were before them, they also belied and rejected. So you, you can your, see for yourself what was the end, what was, what happened to them, end of the evildoers, what happened to Aad, what happened to Samud. At least these two nations were from the Arabian Peninsula, southern part and southwestern part. Now, because you know in Arabic language, this Fadul Muzare, it comprises both of the present tense and the future tense. There are among them who believe in it, although they don't accept it openly. They know it, it is from Allah. But they can't do it. Due to their obstinacy, due to their haughtiness, arrogance, this is the, they, they believe this is the this is book of Allah. They have recognized it, but they don't, they are not ready to, to you know, announce it. And there are others who have not been able to comprehend and they don't believe in it. But you can translate it in the future tense also. Among them are who will believe in it sooner or later. Those people who had not up till now understood it. So there is every hope that when the details come to them, 
they will believe in it. And there are among them who will never believe in it because they are already, you know, understood. And they know it's the book of Allah, the word of Allah, and they have rejected it. So now they, there can be no hope and they have reached the point of no return. And your Lord is very well aware of this, these mischief mongers, these people, haughty people, you know, who have vested interest in the present system, which is threatened by what Muhammad Sallallahu has brought, they are not going to accept it. They have to resist it tooth and nail. وَإِن كَذَّبُوكَ فَقُلْ لِي عَمَلِي وَلَكُمْ عَمَلَكُمْ And if they belie you, reject you, then tell them, for me are my deeds, for you are your deeds. Whatever I am earning, whatever I am doing, I am earning for myself. Whatever you are earning, now it's up to you to see what you are earning. But it is for you. Antum bariyum mimma amalu. Wana bariyum mimma tamalu. You are not responsible for what I am doing. And I am not responsible for what you are doing. 